I'm Charlie Love, and welcome to this video on using the Google Workspace Admin Console to manage security settings for Chrome and Chrome OS. This video is brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. As a Google Workspace Administrator, you have the ability to set policies and controls for Chrome and Chrome OS devices within your organization. This includes setting policies for updating devices, managing extensions and apps, and enabling phishing and malware protection. To access the security settings for Chrome and Chrome OS, first log in to the Google Workspace Admin Console. From the dashboard, click on Devices in the left-hand menu, and then click on the Chrome tab. Setting up Chrome Browser Management allows admins to use the Google Admin Console to enforce policies for users across managed computers, view detailed reports listing each browser's current version, installed apps and extensions, and enforced policies. It allows you to manage the Chrome browser across all your organization's Windows, Mac, and Linux computers, and also enforce 100 plus machine level policies that apply whether or not users are signed in to a managed account or not. Browser management allows admins to use a token to associate the Chrome browser with your domain. Once enrolled, you can manage your browser policies from the cloud. Data exfiltration is a significant threat for organizations. Apps and extensions with permission to access your Google Workspace data can be a potential risk. It's vital that administrators control the applications and extensions that users have access to. You can develop a process for approval of applications that reflects your local requirements. And this should include a security view of new extensions to ensure that they are using JavaScript frameworks without security vulnerabilities. CR Excavator is a great tool for this. Your review should also include information governance, such as to reflect your local legal requirements. So for example, GDPR in your region. To set up your allow or block mode for the Chrome Web Store, from the admin console, go to devices, Chrome, apps and extensions, users and browsers. Select additional settings and set the allow block mode for the Chrome Web Store to block all apps, admin manages allow list. So your users see the apps you have allowed first in the Chrome Store. Also change the Chrome Web Store homepage to use the Chrome Web Store collection. Your users will now only have access to the apps and extensions in the Chrome Web Store that you allow. You can set similar permissions for the Google Play Store and Android apps. From the Admin Console, go to Devices, Mobile and Endpoints, Settings, Android. Select Apps and Data Sharing. Set Available Apps to Only Allowed Apps. Note, Advanced Mobile Management needs to be enabled to allow this setting. So see our previous video series on advanced mobile management for this. As an administrator, you have the ability to enforce updates for Chrome within your organization. This means that all users will be required to update their browser to the latest version, even if they do not want to. To enforce updates for Chrome, you need to follow these steps. Log into the Google Admin Console, navigate to Devices, Chrome, Settings, Users and Browsers, filter for Update and scroll down to Chrome Updates. Change the relaunch notification to Force Relaunch After Period and set the period to 1 hour and the Quiet Period to 0. Click Save. It's important to note that enforcing updates may cause disruption to your users' workflows as they may be prompted to update their browser while they are in the middle of a task. Therefore, it's a good idea to communicate with your users before enforcing updates so that they can prepare for any potential disruption. Each day, Google views millions of web pages and files on the internet. 
Safe browsing uses the information gained to protect against phishing attacks, malware, unwanted software, and social engineering. Safe browsing also provides protection against harmful downloads. Admins can enforce safe browsing and ensure that users cannot bypass the warnings that are given. To ensure safe browsing for your users, go to the admin console, devices, Chrome, settings, users and browsers. Set the safe browsing protection level to enhanced mode for the best protection. Set safe browsing for trusted sources to perform safe browsing checks on all downloaded files. Set download restrictions to block potentially dangerous downloads and then set disable bypass safe browsing warnings to do not allow users to bypass safe browsing warning. And then click save. If you don't use Chrome browser management, there are GPOs for Windows and preferences for Mac and Linux that allow admins to ensure that these settings are set at the device level. Password reuse is commonplace among users. When users reuse their password on dangerous websites or on websites that aren't allowed by your organization, they see a warning and are directed to a URL where they can change their password. So how does this work? The user signs in to an allowed domain using the Chrome browser or a Chrome OS device. Chrome silently captures and locally stores the password hash. Chrome does not send data to Google. When a user enters their password on a disallowed web page or a dangerous website, they might use a different username. Chrome notifies the user that they're using the same password and prompts them to change it. User clicks reset password that are redirected to the URL that the admin has specified for password resets. The user changes their password and then Chrome silently captures and locally stores the new password hash. To set this up, go to the admin console, devices, Chrome settings, users and browsers, look for password alert and set password protection warning. Select trigger on password reuse. Set the URL for password change to your organization's password change location. For Google Workspace only, you can set this to the URL that's on screen now. Your login URLs are where the passwords will be captured. These can be google.com or other endpoints that you use for login. We hope this video has been helpful in showing you how to enable Chrome OS browser management, create an allow list for extensions and apps, enforce Chrome OS and Chrome updates, make sure your users are protected by using safe browsing to prevent harmful websites and files from affecting them. And finally, preventing password reuse. I'm Charlie Love, and thanks for watching this Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer.